hello again. Even though I didn't go to a bookstore while I was up there in Medford, I did get some books um, in the mail where I usually get them. And so I got a package today and a few days ago I got a package with this book. It's the essential companion to Christian history. Like I said, I was really intrigued by that biography that I read about Paul. And it just made me want to learn more about Christian history, early Christian history. So I saw that somebody on Goodreads that I'm connected to there, um, she had a copy of this and she seemed to like it. So I got myself a copy, thought this is just a basic book um, about many different things in Christian history and it's well illustrated throughout. So I thought this would at least give me uh, a little acquaintance about a lot of different aspects of Christian history. And then I can go from there and find specific topics that I might want to read more about. So that was a few days ago I got that. Now the ones that I got today, I will tell you start with this really heavy book. This is a heavy book. Obviously, it's about Van Gogh. I'm reading the letters of Van Gogh with some other booktubers here, Deidre, Faith, and Mark was reading with us, but he already finished and the rest of us are going slow with it. So I got this book with supposedly every painting that Van Gogh ever did discussed in the book and it says here that he did 871 paintings. I expect that does not include the sketches. I actually saw an exhibit of Van Gogh paintings in the De Young Museum in San Francisco many long years ago. I think I was about 18 years old and I was already a Van Gogh fan when I saw them, so I knew about him when I was a teenager. And I was amazed at the things that were in the exhibit because at that time I only knew about some of his paintings and I didn't realize that there were going to be sketches there and watercolors and all kinds of things. Anyhow, this book tells all about it and is a supplement to the other book that I'm reading, which is The Letters of Van Gogh. Got that today and oh, by the way, this book is super heavy got thick, thick uh, pages, beautiful full color pictures of every painting he ever did. The next one is totally Arian's fault. Arian and Prometheus, they have intrigued me long enough by mentioning this book over and over and over. It is, yep, you guessed it, Operation Paperclip by Annie Jacobson. So looking forward to learning more about that. And I have my reasons. So. It's the secret intelligence program that brought Nazi scientists to America. So here we go into something a little subversive. Looking forward to it. I'm not sure when I'm going to read that. I don't have a plan for that. Now, I told you in another video that I am... I am trying to decide what kind of a Christian I am. And so far, I think I'm either fundamentalist Christian or evangelical. And I told my son that I thought I was a fundamental fundamentalist Christian, and he like was aghast at the thought. <laughs> He's an Episcopalian, which is a rather liberal sect. Um, and it's liturgical, which is not what I, I'm into at all. So uh, I've been collecting books about evangelism just to, I want to read them all and decide if that's the kind of Christian I am, because if I am evangelical, I have to say I'm not very evangelical um, in my actions. I don't think I'm doing much in the way of spreading the faith, but uh, so this is supposedly a, a classic on the topic. The Master Plan of Evangelism 
by Dr. Robert E. Coleman with a foreword by Billy Graham. And so I'm gonna be reading that and I've got some other books and I'll have to discuss it in another video because I think I have uh, four different evangelism books now to read. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So the last book that was in my box today is The Brooklyn Bridge. I've been telling people I want to read all the David McCullough books. And I've already read the first one. I want to read them in the order in which he wrote them. I would like to have a read-along, long-term read-along with a lot of other people who would like to do the same thing. And maybe we just skip the books we've already read. Like I've already read the first one, which is about the Johnstown flood. I always get Johnstown and Jonestown mixed up. Oh, that's another story. Anyhow, so this next one I'm going to be reading is about the Brooklyn Bridge. And if you're interested in participating in a McCullough readathon of books that he wrote in the order in which he wrote them, please let me know in the comments. I'm very interested in knowing if there's others who would like to do this thing with me. And uh, because I make mistakes sometimes, I accidentally ordered a second copy. So this is going to be in a giveaway. I'm not sure when I'm going to give it away, but that is coming up. Well, that's it. That's all I got. So I'll talk to you um, in another video, hopefully very soon.